Good evening and welcome to a fantastic Friday edition of 4FSU Weather. Student Meteorologist Pete Delagrado with and you. Student Meteorologist Tawana Andrew with Pete. <laughs> hey, welcome to the program. A lot to talk about, including big weather news on the other side of the world. Yes. Typhoon Haiyan, as of 1 p.m., Category 4 hurricane. Category 4, which was downgraded, of course, from Category 5 intensity, the highest on the hurricane scale, that it made landfall right through the Philippine Islands. Yes, it hit Giwan on the island of Samar in the Philippines. So there, my thoughts and prayers and our thoughts and prayers are with them through that harrowing time and that major storm. Now, to put this in perspective, Haiyan was the strongest hurricane, or typhoon as they're called in the West Pacific, to make landfall at peak intensity. To put this in perspective, New Orleans, of course, remembers Katrina. Landfall speed was a Category 3 with 115 mile per hour winds. Everyone in the Northeast remembers Sandy, which was a hybrid type system that came in as a large Category 1. So in terms of actual intensity, this is the strongest in recent recorded history. We'll have to verify that, of course, with the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. According to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, it ranks number four out of all of the typhoons or the tropical systems in general that have ever hit you know, the world. So that's just absolutely terrifying that some people had to go through that. Yes, a lung for us though. Pleasant weather ahead and let's send it out to Shane with our overview. Thanks guys. We do definitely have pleasant weather ahead. Let me give you the headlines for this weekend. Uh, current temperatures in fact are 68 in Tallahassee. Oh, yes, here we go. Sorry, folks, a little technical difficulty. The headlines for this weekend are it's going to be beautiful. We're going to see some cold lows when we wake up tomorrow morning, maybe even the 40s, but it will warm up next week and then cool back down when another cold front makes its way through our region. Let's uh, look at the cloud cover over our region right now, and it is gorgeous. High pressure is dominating, skies are clear, save for some clouds to our west and east where the cold front is still pushing out. Here are current temperatures once again, 68 in Tallahassee, a little cooler inland, the cold spot 59 in Bainbridge, Georgia, and a little warmer down there by the coast. Tonight, temperatures are going to cool off rapidly in our region, down to 43 here in the capital city. They're going to expect a breezy cool night, so bundle up if you're heading out to the North Ford Affair, for instance. And now let's send it back to the desk. Thank you, Shane. Speaking of cool weather, we're going to have cool weather in that upcoming, the upcoming week, which we will tell you more about later on the show. But that cool weather will affect the FSU CARES homecoming race, which happens on Monday. That's true. Coming up is FSU CARES homecoming race. It's put on Monday, Veterans Day, the 11th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. It's a 5K race, and it supports the medical school here at Florida State. The money raised is going to help them prepare for some medical uh, triage and needs for both local and international communities and it's just a great way to get out there and run and help your community doing it. They're actually planning on taking six students and two faculty members over to Panama to help out over there with medical needs and such so it's a great cause get out there go help it's an amazing thing to do. Might be a little bit crisp morning of course but we have your full local update coming out on the wall with Alex. Thanks very much guys and our local update looking more on the side of seasonal as the night is going into play. However, those temperatures are going to drop rapidly and possibly into the lower to mid 40s later on tonight into the overnight hours. But right now, 63 degrees in Tallahassee and quite dry too, sitting at 39 degrees, far away from our actual temperature. So that explains just how dry it is. The closer that dew point gets to our temperature, the more moist it actually starts to feel. Current winds coming mainly out of the east, northeast to northeast. Tallahassee at three miles an hour. A few places calm, but the general trend is illustrating that we are getting that cooler air coming in from the northeast. And it's going to be filtering in for the next coming hour Right now, we do have high pressure building in, and this cold front that has brought in us those colder temperatures, if you felt them earlier last night into this morning, it's been quite breezy and cool all day, and it's going to stay that way. As we put this cold front into motion, high pressure continues to dominate. Another chilly start to tomorrow. Around 8 a.m., we're looking at possible 43 degrees as our low, and if we go on to tonight, I mean tomorrow night into Saturday around 8 p.m., it's going to be looking mighty comfortable 
as we see temperatures around the 50s, a little more average for this time of year, which is always a nice thing to see because we don't really like to see a drastic change between the cold and the hot, which we're going to start seeing 80s once again come midweek. Anyway, satellite and radar are showing a lot of clear skies due to high pressure building in after that cold front has passed us, a bit of showers and thunderstorms associated with the next weather system over here in Texas and Shreveport seeing a bit of showers, but that's not going to be impacting us, so we don't have to worry about that. You can clearly see the cold front on the water vapor map, which is one of my favorite maps because it clearly shows weather features. And this little line of green, that's the cold front that has passed us. And some dry air starting to filter in. That brown and lighter green seeping into Tallahassee is what's been making it feel so much more comfortable. However, the Midwest states are still getting some effects as you can see a lot more green indicating moisture for their region so it's going to be looking a little more moist for them tonight's forecast though calling for another cold night temperatures around 43 degrees in Tallahassee a little cooler up north 41 degrees in Thomasville and warmer near the ocean breeze at 46 for Apalachicola and Carabelle tomorrow's forecast we're looking at a nice pleasant 72 degrees it's going to be a clear day so if you want to go out there get some jogging done it's going to be a mighty fine day to do it and the winds aren't going to be so breezy either so it won't feel as cold as it did today. Beach forecast calling for well a bumpy ride if you're going to be out riding on the boats but I'm going to get to that boating forecast right now and you can see we might be in a small craft advisory moving in some choppy conditions waves at one to two feet but as long as those winds are blowing at 10 to 15 knots it's probably not the best idea to bring out your small boat so just make sure you are prepared for that when that time comes. Seven day forecast looking for some cold, colder conditions into the weekend, and as the middle of the next work week begins, we're going to start seizing, seeing more seasonal temperatures and a possible 30 degree low, 38 degree low, come Friday. Now, Jamar, let's take it out to a more broader look of the southeast. Thanks, Alex. As you look and see right now, for the southeast, it's not looking all, all that hot anymore. It's going to be a little bit more colder than usual because of that cold front coming in and bringing in that Alaskan air that we've been hopefully seeing for fall. When we take a look now, we see New Orleans, they're sitting at 61 degrees. So I see sitting at 63, still very cold, unlike the past week has been. And Savannah, you're sitting at 54, so you might want to bring a light jacket just in case. When we take a look at satellite and radar, that high, um, we still have a high um, that's around flow on um, the southeast right now. And they still have that cold front, a little line of cold front, still bringing a few, a few showers from Miami and Key West, but over the Tallahassee area, you're bringing in some nice, good, abundant sunshine today. And over in Louisiana and Texas, they're getting a little bit more um, thunderstorms there. But that's going to start making its way out, bringing in some off, awfully cold air. When we take a look at the water vapor, like I said before, that cold front, that line you see there, um, that's bringing in some thunderstorms from Miami and Key West. So hopefully they have their umbrellas and ponchos handy because they, they might be needing it. For our area right now, we still make it as so you see that dry air coming in for Tallahassee? That's bringing us some nice, comfortable, beautiful weather. And over in Louisiana and the Texas area, they're having some green, which means that it's not as comfortable as it should be. But that will make its way out later on in the week. And there has some nice conditions like we do right now. When you take a look at the current winds, it's very gusty in New Orleans. 10, that's not something you want to be wearing to see. And Montgomery is sitting at 7 degrees, 7 wind mile per hour, excuse me. And Tallahassee is still seeing a few little gusts, but nothing really to be concerned about. And when we take a look at the future cast, like I said before, that, um, we still have a high there, so it's bringing us some nice, comfortable conditions. We have some offshore sh um, showers for in the Gulf of Mexico right now. And also, we still um, off the, um, the Jacksonville coast, you have some showers as well. And like I said before, Miami and over in Key West, you have some thunderstorms as well. When we take a look, and later on, those thunderstorms start moving its way out a little bit more, bringing in some very cold, comfortable weather. When we take a look at tonight's forecast, you see um, Tallahassee, you see at 43 degrees, make sure you bring that light jacket. And when we take a look at tomorrow's forecast, Tallahassee and the rest of the southeast, you're bringing in some cold, nice weather. Let's send it back to the desk. Hey, thank you very much, Jay. Just to put that in perspective, our low last night was 48 degrees, so probably a little cooler night on tap to this evening. It was bone chilling for me, honestly, walking around well, last if, night. Well, <laughs> if you're from South Florida, it was a rude awakening to have some of that North Florida winter conditions. Just a little bit. <laughs> if you're moving ahead, though, looking ahead to perhaps homecoming week, uh, looks like it's even going to get colder. 
potential of a 30, 10, 20 to 30 degree drop in temperatures. Like below average, guys. This is cold. You're going to need those jackets. Well, I know I'm going to need the jacket and the gloves and the boots and all that stuff. Right, so potentially the first freeze of the season moving towards the end of the week, perhaps Wednesday into Thursday. Still a ways out. We're going to keep you up to date on the changes, especially as it relates to your homecoming forecast, as FSU homecoming is, of course, coming up on Friday next week. It's actually this is a big thing. I'm so, ex so excited. Yes, all the festivities are there. You can find it out on the website, but we're going to take a little moment around the nation. Show us what is going on on the big board. Well, let me tell you, absolutely cool around the entire U.S. right now. Except for Miami. They're a little bit warmer than we all are sitting at 80 right now. And um, New Orleans, 61, with a slight bit of clouds. They are getting a little bit of clouds in their region. But gorgeous weather generally around the entire U.S. If we zoom out, to the satellite and radar, we'll be able to see that there's a high pressure system just bringing in some moisture into San Antonio and into just general parts of Texas, giving them the rain, the uncomfortable conditions. This is the same high pressure. There's, what it, let me show you right here. It's swooping up the moist air from the Gulf of Mexico, and it's just bringing in the drier air for us. So it's helping and hurting at the same time. Well, I'm sure the, far the farmers in the Texas region are very, very happy with the rain right now, and the farmers here, not so much. But just generally pleasant conditions, just high dominating the southeast. But, and in the, so in the northeast right now, there's the potential for snow, for lake effect snow. There's that northwest wind just bringing the snow across the lakes, causing cold, that warmer, warmer air going over the cooler lakes causes the, wetter t the air to become moist and snow and rain to form. If we zoom into the southwest, Phoenix dries a bone right now. And airport delays, nothing. Dis despite the slight rain in Texas, no airport delays, absolutely gorgeous temperatures. And if we move on to what tomorrow is going to be, lightly, slightly warmer than it was today, 51 tonight, excuse me, for Dallas, 52 for San Antonio, 52 in New Orleans, and back home here, it's 43 for our low tonight. And for tomorrow, temperatures slightly higher than they were today, 73 in Tallahassee, 74 in New Orleans, and 61 in Kansas City. So if you look around the, the U.S., absolutely gorgeous conditions, nothing really massive affecting the U.S. temperature rise and weather-wise. But John is going to zoom in a little bit more and tell us what's happening around our area. I've got some more good things to tell you around the southeast. And here's that front that passed through yes a couple of days ago, just bringing a couple of showers down closer to West Palm Beach near the Lake Okeechobee area. But really, the good things are right in the middle. It's kind of like an Oreo sandwich here. We've got a, a few clouds off towards the west and then a cool front pushing down towards the south. And what's left behind in the middle? High pressure and pleasant conditions. Still that northeasterly wind coming in down off the Appalachians, which has kept us uh, pleasant here with a couple of breezy winds here across the Big Bend area. And what's interesting about this is we still made it down into the upper 40s last night with those northeasterly winds, but we rebounded back up to near 70 degrees this afternoon. Nothing to complain about. 63 right now, if you're heading out to the North Florida Fair here in Tallahassee, temperatures are going to be right around 60 degrees, falling into the 50s th later this evening. Around the area, 57 in Monticello, 61 in Perry, and these temperatures are going to fall into the 50s as we head into the next couple of hours. The good change that has, we've seen with high pressure, this is bringing in some drier air from the north. 37, this is where we start to need that chapstick as we head outside the door. A little bit more moist down towards the south, 44 in St. Mark's, 45 in Perry. Still, you're going to need uh, an extra shirt or uh, coat as we head into the next couple of hours. Wind gusts are still up across most of the area. 15 in St. Mark's. Some places were upwards of 20 miles an hour. Earlier in Tallahassee, we had a gust of 22 miles per hour it, near the capital. As we head out across the next couple of days, we'll see some of that cooler air across the northern parts of the Appalachian Mountains. And this is all going to come down towards the south in behind that next cool front. 30s and 40s for tonight, but a slow warming trend will be in the forecast. Miami and points northward across central and north Florida is where you're going to want to be if you're heading out for that warmer weather. The rest of us, 
50s and 60s for overnight lows and into the 60s and 70s for most of the southeast for the daily highs. If you're heading in to down towards South Florida, that's the only place you're going to see the 80s. Right down to south of Miami and into the Florida Keys, that's going to be the warm spot over the next couple of days. If you're heading out to the on the boat over the next uh, 12 or 14 hours, you're going to see bumpy conditions, but as we head into the middle parts of tomorrow and into tomorrow evening, those seas are going to come on down, down to a smooth condition. Those winds are also going to be coming on down as well. Tonight's forecast, 43 degrees, a little bit cooler for some of us. Cooler night in store, but it will be the last cooler night until the end of next week. And we've got a bigger story coming on up in the next few desks for that cooler weather. 72 degrees for tomorrow's forecast. If you're heading out to the fair, no complaints there, but you will want to bring in an extra jacket or two with you for the fair. Those Veterans Day forecasts are looking great as we head into the weekend. We're looking into the near, actually near 80 degrees by Sunday and Monday in some parts of our area. And the Veterans Day forecast is looking at 78 degrees for Monday before we cool off for the end of the next work week. Now, I hear we've got it, a, a larger system coming in down the Appalachians next week. Yes, we started to see that winter weather uh, ending of fall coming in. And we have two models to show just what happens when that Arctic air from Canada comes in and cools, cools the U.S. off a little bit more. Now this time of year, it's a little bit harder to get any sort of freezing conditions into the southern Appalachians. So the models are struggling with that just a little bit. But there's some snow in the forecast. Yes, there is. And we're going to talk about a couple of models right now. Um, we have the first example, the lowest going to move up the east coast and snow from the snowy mountains, as we like to call it and the, great, the green and white mountain and in New England. Just a geography reference, that's actually, the, the Smoky Mountains are actually in uh, eastern Tennessee. So that's pretty far south for some cold conditions. Now I hear we've got some cooler conditions around Florida for tonight anyway. Alex? Yes, those cooler conditions will be around the 40s, and I'm going to get to that just in a bit, but I want to show you guys a bit about what it actually looks like right now around our area, and if we can get a look at the alligator point net cam looking very clear, only a few clouds here or there looking quite nice, and if we go down to Fort Lauderdale where it's the warm spot, all that sun still giving them quite a comfortable day, 75 degrees right now. However, there are some clouds, but in South Florida, it's almost always sunny. So current conditions right now, though, sitting at 63 degrees, it's going to drop even further, but it's clear. And that's why we're going to drop so further, because when we don't have that cloud cover, all that heat from the day just escapes into the night, and we're going to see some mighty cold temperatures. However, down south, they still got those clouds keeping them warm, 80 degrees in Miami, 75 in West Palm Beach, and 70 in the city of Orlando. Current winds coming mainly out of the north, wet, northeast, like I explained, and Orlando seeing a mighty strong wind at 15 miles an hour and West Palm Beach at 16. So the further south you go, the stronger the winds are that might be associated with our cold front that we have that has since scooted out onto the Atlantic waters and bringing them some cooler conditions as well. Current dew point illustrating just exactly where that cold front had affected us. Not so illustrating down south where it's almost always muggy and humid, 72 degrees in West Palm Beach. And since that's close to their temperature of around 76 degrees, you can see that it's quite muggy over there. However, 39 degrees in Tallahassee illustrates that it's quite dry outside. For a future cast radar, a few showers hit or miss are going to continue to sprinkle throughout the neck of the woods of the middle of the state. And as they continue to drift further south, we're going to stay in the clear. And so is Pensacola and Jacksonville. It's going to look nice for Saturday into Sunday. So it's going to be a very nice weekend indeed. You can see that cold front not so clearly. This line of gray, the cold front has since been deteriorating. But the green on the water vapor clearly shows it a lot better. That's indicated of the moisture in the upper levels of the atmosphere and a lot more moisture building into the Midwest and southern states near Texas. We're going to take it on to a tour now around Florida. What do we see? Jacksonville looking very clear. Those are just some false returns, so don't worry about that. It's looking clear in Jacksonville, clear in the middle of the state where Melbourne County might see a bit of a sprinkle here or there near West Palm Beach. However, it's going to look nice for them coming into the night as those showers begin to move out of their area. Broward, West Palm Beach, like I said before, looking in the clear, and that's always good to hear. Once again, a broader look at the state for tonight's forecast. We're going to be seeing 40s in the north 
and 70s in the south. And it's like a little rainbow, which I always love pointing out because we got the orange down at the southern tip of the peninsula, and it follows the rainbow when the colder temperatures begin to drop up to the north. Tomorrow's forecast looking for 83 degrees in the south and 73 degrees in Tallahassee as we do get a little bit of clouds, but it's going to stay on the clear side for most of the day. Now, Shane, you have a more broader look for me, right? Yes, I do, Alex. From the sunny sunshine state, we're going to shift our gaze to lo look at the whole southeast. Now we're going to take a look at the current conditions for our entire region right now. It's 60 in the capital of Alabama out there in Montgomery, 63 here in Tallahassee, even colder, 48 in Wilmington where it's dark and further north. So they're getting the blast of Arctic air. A little bit warmer down in Miami and Key West, however. They remain at 80 for the front hasn't quite passed them yet. Current winds, this is very indicative of where the pressure centers are sitting right now. Our winds are being blown out of the northeast over the panhandle of Florida for the high that is circling all these winds clockwise and the low that's moving counterclockwise. And we're sitting right at their intersection, which is guiding this wind flow. Now our dew point indicates just where that front that moved through and brought all those clouds yesterday is now. These higher dew points, that is to say around 60s and 70s down here in Key West and Miami, they're still feeling sticky and moist as the front pushes out of their region. But behind the front where it's gone since Tallahassee, we're at 39. It is dry. It is cooler outside right now. It's gorgeous. I love this kind of weather. I encourage everyone to get outside this weekend. Now, taking a look at what exactly our temperatures are going to do this weekend. Well, we're going to see overnight this Arctic air push its way through our area as the sun sets, leaving lows around the 40s, so definitely bundle up tomorrow morning where this cold air makes its way down even to the coast. And then temperatures are going to jump back up for a gorgeous afternoon tomorrow before they fall again with tomorrow's sunset. And now we're going to take a look at the satellite and radar for our region right now. And it is gorgeous again. That high has cleared the skies over the panhandle of Florida. Now we do see some clouds moving in from the west and a few clouds left with the remnants of the cold front leaving the southern regions of Florida. The water vapor map uh, indicates the front very well. This thin line of green right here, not very definitive. In fact, there's more moisture behind it, but that's where the front is now. And these brown colors indicate the dry air that's giving us such a gorgeous weekend. As for tonight's forecast, exactly how low will it go? It's going to go down to 43, we're going to say here in Tallahassee, and naturally colder to the north. 38 up there in the capital of Montgomery, 40 in Atlanta. So it is going to be chilly but it's a great weekend. It's going to be sunny tomorrow when those highs warm back up to the mid 70s here in Tallahassee. 73 we're going to call it and warmer still of course to the south in Miami and cooler to our north in Montgomery and Atlanta where their highs will only be in the 60s but it's going to be clear and sunny and gorgeous and I highly encourage getting out and enjoying it, studying outside, going camping, however you want to enjoy Veterans Day weekend. And now let's send it back to the desk for some more stories. Where else will it be sunny? You know, it'll be sunny in Wake Forest, and hopefully the temperatures will be in the 60s as well. Score in the 60s? Oh, well, hopefully we're going to get there. But again, we're playing our ACC, so it should be interesting. Uh, we have a new kickoff, so we're, we're looking forward to that. And it's number two, the Seminoles, Go Seminoles, against Wake Forest at noon, as you said. And it's going to be an interesting game because it's the first one after a larger rival. Yes, indeed. Hopefully our players are not too tired after that Miami game. Okay, you know, they tried their best. And what will be the best? The weather will be quite awesome for the game. Temperatures starting off in the 50s and climbing up into the 60s with a few clouds passing by. Yeah, so you have southerly winds going at 7 miles an hour. So if you're the quarterbacks, make sure you are ready for that. Because you want the football just accurate. Yeah, hopefully there won't be a whole lot of problems. The winds are expected to relax towards the middle or end of the game, so hopefully the score will go up as the winds come down. Yes, but let's take it out to Pete with our very interesting local. Hey, thank you, Jay. All these beautiful, sunshiny, breezy conditions have me smiling. I hope they do you as well at home. We officially reached a high of 69 degrees. Didn't quite make it into the 70s today. Maybe a welcome change if you remember the 80s we had yesterday. Woke up to 48, which is a bit on the crisp side, especially for me. So maybe you had that jacket or sweater on to keep you comfortable. That is seasonable, though, for this time of year. 63 at this hour as the sun has set. 
dew point at 39, and that's a measure of the moisture content in the air, so we would have to get all the way down to 39 degrees in order for dew to form. If you have your favorite beverage out there, ice in it, put it out there, see if dew forms on the glass. It'll only do that if it gets to 39 degrees. A little bit of science there for you. And around our area, 63 at our airport, 55 in Quincy, 61 in Bainbridge, so you see mid-50s to low 60s, maybe even at 69 at St. Mark's, but generally comfortable on the cool side in those wind and breezy conditions filtering in from the north and northeast. They've died down a bit from how they were earlier today, but still filtering in some of our cooler and drier conditions. Dew point map shows this very well with the moisture generally confined to the southern areas. That's a dew point in the mid 40s. And we have this yellow area, which is a dry air sinking southward. That's keeping us a little bit more on the comfortable side. So if you're walking out and you drag your feet across the carpet, get that little electric shock that's due to the lack of moisture in the air. Static electricity conducts much better in dry air than it does in moist. Satellite and radar around the country in our southeastern area has a little wedge of sunshine here that we experience. Cold front sagged south and out of the region and the next weather maker bringing in cloudiness to Shreveport and Little Rock not going to affect us. So all in all we are in the best place to be for sunshine and cool temperatures around the southeast. Moisture here shows up on green, especially bright green, includes more moisture. A little dry slot here from Tallahassee to Savannah and Wilmington, but all the cold front moisture is out of the picture through the period out of there. Get the cold front right out of the picture because that's where it is and it's gone. Get it out of there because high pressure is going to dominate our weather, bringing in a little bit more chilly conditions, comfortable, but that northeasterly wind will keep it a little bit in the mid 40s, low 40s for your overnight wake up tomorrow morning. But if you get out there for your beautiful Saturday, comfortable conditions, moving into nice conditions, especially going out on the beach, it's going to be abundant sunshine. East to northeast winds 10 to 15 with that low surf. So hopefully you get a chance to get the sun, even if it's not swimming conditions out there on the water. For tonight, 43 degrees, cold and breezy, moving into tomorrow, where we're going to have say, wake up to 46, then around lunchtime get a 68 in there, but as you see throughout your day, plenty of sunshine and abundant for all of those outdoor plans. Let's widen it out to your seven day forecast, including your Veterans Day. We rebound into the 70s by Monday, but look at that, a little bit of hint of winter Thursday into Friday with temps in the upper 30s. Let's wrap it up at the desk here for one more story. Your, your lips might be a little bit blue as we head into the next week, but it'll be red, white, and blue all this weekend. Yes, we got some fun events for you for Veterans Day, and I'm um, looking forward to it. A day off is much needed. Yeah, if you're heading out for plans for Saturday and Sunday, North Florida Fair is in town as well, but the, the events really kick off on Monday. Yes, at 8 a.m., there's going to be a fun run at, um, Park, at Park Avenue and other parks around Tallahassee area. In the parade, take out the kids, starts at, at 10.45, and it starts at Tennessee and Monroe. Yes, and we also have the fair, um, a fair going out the fairgrounds all throughout the Veterans Weekend, which we will also be at for a great meet and greet and volunteer as well. And temperatures will be climbing through the 70s as we head uh, later in the weekend and near 80 degrees in, in, in Tallahassee uh, on Monday for those events. Yes, and when we go later on throughout the week, we're going to see a lot colder temperatures with some beautiful, much needed sunshine all around. So get those rambunctious kids out while it's warm before it gets a little bit cooler and you'll have to put a couple extra layers on them. Yes, but you can like us on Facebook, you can follow us on Twitter, and we're always on live stream throughout the weekdays. I'm meteorologist Jonathan Bellis. And I'm meteorologist Jamar Kimball. And we'll have a great night in Tallahassee, and I hope you have a great Veterans Day weekend. Take those three days and get outside.